Hello everyone, it's me A summary welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and today I'll show you the movie poster design how to make this type of movie poster in Photoshop 2022 so let's start the tutorial if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so at first let's see uh, the things which I used over here here is a stock photo and background and some types and here is a typography type by like a font or the effects of the font here is the footer or cast and crew of the movie and here is the award something and here is spark effect etc so at first uh, we'll go to the file and go into the new options and take i'll take the print options and that is the size the letter size the preset and hit the create button and after that i have some stock images i downloaded from davianna.com and going to the file and place embedded options from here i already downloaded that photo this one so hit the tick button to fit with it and after that going to here the object selection tools and selecting all the stuffs or subject selecting over there and going to the select and mask options from here i'll make it a little bit smooth and the edge shifting a little bit like this and contrast a little bit like this okay and going to the down layer and new layer with the layer mask and hit the create pattern so this mask is done for me and b from the keyboard that means the move tool and going to the file and place embedded again and i downloaded a background or road photos from unsplash.com and i'll place this photo over there and i'll make this one like that okay that's fine and i'll just drop that back into this and after that in this one i'll make a little bit smaller like this okay that's good and then I'll harmonize this one just because of this color of the face and the background color is not same and in this portion we are getting the same things that is nice and right press and restylize this one and this one and we'll go to the filter and neural filter neural filter has that type of things which is really amazing that is the harmonize options and here is the harmonize and uh, your photo will analyze by the Photoshop and which layer you want to harmonize here is some layers which layer you want to harmonize you have to define and then you can do that before that you have to make this one apply layer mask here i'll make this one apply layer mask and now select this photo and i'll rename this one it will help us out to edit in future and that is the bg for the background and that is the main one so we could keep this one for in future or future use and unlock this one and giving these things and deleting all the stuffs okay selecting this guard layer going to the filter and going to the neural filter and after that selecting the harmonize options here we will select which harmonize you want i want to harmonize this one uh, the perspective or the according to the bg so selecting the bg the progress will show you adobe photoshop will re like some analyze this photo and add some photo that is really cool the before one and after one you're getting the changes the light will be same and you can uh, change if you want uh, as your uh, like wish or you have that uh, options to change it out and hit the ok button so we got this one which is harmonized and the before one was are not harmonized and after that going to the gradient tool going to the taking the gradient black type gradient so i want to use shadow over there because of uh, i want to put the footer over there if you want you can use that so i use this one and then going to the file again and going to the place embedded options and here are some spark i downloaded which is the png files and i'll make it bigger and place the png over there actually that is not png the ba black background the spark things and i'll make it the screen mode it will adjust with that press ctrl command t and you can adjust this with that okay that's good 
so i'm turning off all the stuffs because of i want to make a little bit of blur which is really uh, create the depth of the poster going to the filter and going to the blur gallery and tilt shift blur so i'll make the tilt shift blur like this so making that that's fine and making this one a little bit blur and i'll make this one down and yeah that's fine and the light will be appear a little bit like that and the light color will be down a little bit yeah that's fine it seems good and hit the ok button so after making ok if we go to here it's look nice okay and then i'll use a filter which is the teal filter so going to the solid color and finding a teal color like this and hit the ok button and going to the soft light options so i could change this one which color is good for me yeah that's fine and i can give the opposite your fill color a little bit down like that so we got the feel of the color or the things is really good and press ctrl or command t i want to make this one a little bit like that which is nice and okay i could change the color so that is the good color which is really moody type color and now time to add some text in the top side and the downside so going to the file and going to the place embedded options from here the footer of the movie i'll place over there yeah, that's good and then going to make this one into screen mode that's fine and going to the text tool taking the text i used a font which is the vampire words type name font and i'll making the font size like this 11 or 20 is good 24 is good and giving the name okay going to the computers and saving this one tutorial psd and hit okay and now here i'll use the um, uh, main title of the movie so i already downloaded uh, things which is from the freepick.com and that is the smart object type things and this one our already we use that and here is some effects i'll copy all the stuffs here uh, here is the rugged options and here is the smoke options i'll turn off the smoke options and copy this one controller command c and now controller command v so press controller command t and we'll make this one smaller a little bit smaller that's good and we'll place over there so now here is our title actually and lots of things over there you can turn it off these things or you can keep it up so it's totally up to you if you want you can use that so i want to turn it off and here is some smoke here is some other uh, spark effect if you want you can keep those so i'll keep those so main thing is that here is smart object double click over there it will open up new window and you can write down any kind of names like ninja or force or okay and saving this one and it will save in this one same uh, in this window actually so samurai making the font size a little bit smaller like uh, 150 or 180 is good and saving this one it will saving into the in this window so samurai and the font the text and everything so i want to make this one actually this one our text and here is some awards i want to make the opposite a little bit down and press ctrl or command t select this one ctrl or command t award a little bit bigger and giving the name so that's fine 
our poster is ready now going to the file and going to the save copy as options so here file and save copy as and jpeg and saving this one and big size poster that's fine so we got really amazing movie poster by the shortest time and the easiest way i just given you over there so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and in the next video is when you signing out today stay safe stay healthy keep me in your prayers bye bye